All right, guys, I'm I'm super psyched for this. I got this for Christmas. What is it? It is the open source watch, the Pine Time. And as somebody, most people don't realize, I am an avid person who works out every day almost. I run, I've done half marathons, I've uh, run 5K races, and I do a lot of biking and weightlifting and other types of exercise. Anyhow, I love this. This is my first smartwatch. I wanted to introduce this to everyone because it is one of the only open source smartwatches out there. Does it run Linux? No, but you can actually sync it up with your iPhone, your Android, or even your Linux phone, your Pine phone, or otherwise. And the great thing is, it counts my steps. It has things I didn't even realize it had, to be honest with you. I hadn't even been keeping up with the Pine Time because I didn't have one. But now that I have one, I'm really excited to have one. It can also check my heart rate. So if I hit that button, I'll be able to keep it an eye on my heart rate so if i'm trying to stay in a fat burning zone or say a uh, cardio beneficial zone um, i would simply hit the heart rate monitor and i'd be able to make sure my heart rate stayed up between 65 percent and 85 percent of the max heart rate so really cool there it counts my steps so i'm able to keep track of how far i run and how far I walk when I'm walking. So really great stuff here. Really look forward to exploring more of it. And what I didn't realize is it has more than that. It actually has, you can even use this little pad here and actually draw on it, which is really cool. As I mentioned, I've never had a smartwatch before. So to me, this stuff's amazing. And it even has a couple games here. Not really sure what this one is, but it looks like Obviously, it's something to do with numbers on a little square board. Now, there's another game. Here's a common one. It's kind of like a Pong game. So you move that around, and you try to bounce that ball back. You get a score for every time you're able to do that, as you notice here. So stuff I didn't even know came on this with the Infinity Time. So definitely want to give a shout out to the developers there. I know you and Lee and JF have done an excellent job, and I'm sure many others that I'm not aware of are working on this. So thanks a lot for your hard work. Really appreciate this. Uh, love this watch. Uh, I'm going to be wearing it a lot. I'm going to be looking more into the details inside and uh, see what I can do with it. So I'll have future videos on basically what I'm able to do with it. So of course I'll be sharing that in future videos. But if you're looking for an open source smartwatch, you know, this is a really cool option. And what's better is it's only $27. So, I mean, really, can you even get a watch for $27 anymore? Not that likely, especially one that does all this. As you can see, it has my steps today down there at the bottom. And just really excited about this. It's rechargeable. You know, when you take it off and you, it has a magnetic back that you simply lay on the charger. I don't have the charger next to me. But it's pretty easy to charge. You just plug it up to one of your USB bricks and then you simply attach it to the magnetic case that it actually has its own little platform there. So really cool watch. Love the Pine Time. Great work from everyone who worked on it. Uh, I'm going to explore some of the other operating systems. Um, of course, you got stopwatch. You got a lot of other things you can do uh, for you know, different things. If you're working out, if you're somebody who wants to sync it to your phone, you can do all those things. And setting the time was really easy. I used a script or a program called Siglo, and uh, I can leave some links to that. And what it did was it took the time from my Pine phone and it automatically synced that up for me. It even has things like a flashlight where you can light up the watch and make it especially bright, something like that. So if you need to see in the dark, you could turn that into a quick little mini flashlight. So that's another really cool feature there. Um, really great work, everyone who worked on this. Uh, really excited to have my very first smartwatch. Uh, of course, I'll be covering some more of the aspects that you might want to know about in future videos and as I explore this watch more. So great stuff on here. 
Uh, really love it, and uh, I look forward to doing more videos on it. But I really wanted to introduce all my followers to the Pine Time as a great option if you're looking for an open source smartwatch. Comes from Pine64. They develop the hardware, and the community does the software. So really great stuff here. This is what came with the watch. This is the operating system that came with the watch. Of course, you're able to explore several other options out there. So this is my video for the day. I just wanted to share what I got for Christmas this year as a present. And uh, I think it's a really great option. If you're looking for a smartwatch that's not spying on you, that's not sending your data to some of those big tech companies that are just looking to harvest your heart rates, your traveling, your, you know, your navigation, all of that stuff. You have to worry about that when you have proprietary and overpriced hardware such as, you know, the Apple Watch and whatnot. So just wanted to put that out there as a great open source option for anyone interested in a smartwatch and anybody who does the kind of exercising I do. So that's what I got today, guys. Hope you like this video and check out the Pine Time. It's over at pine64.com. That is the website for the Pine64 store. So if you want to check out some of the hardware that I play with here, make sure to check out the store over there. So that's what I got today, guys. Hope you like this video make sure to leave a comment if you got a question about the watch or anything else leave one below and i will be back later with more on open source